The final season of FX's Reservation Dogs streams August 2nd on Hulu, and it's been a while since we've seen the Res Dogs in action, so I thought I'd give you a quick recap of its first two seasons and the story so far. Score Presented by FX's Reservation Dogs, streaming August 2nd only on Hulu. Premiering in 2021 from creators Sterling Harjo and Taika Waititi, FX's Reservation Dogs is a first-of-its-kind series with indigenous representation both in front and behind the camera, infusing the show with a rich identity. Now, honored as an AFI Television Program of the Year for two consecutive years and a recipient of two Independent Spirit Awards, a Gotham Award and a Peabody Award, Reservation Dogs follows the exploits of four indigenous teenagers from rural Oklahoma. Now, they rely on each other as they strive to earn enough money to escape their small town. Now, while they occasionally take on honest jobs, they find creative ways to make ends meet, like reselling shoplifted steak, trading stolen copper from street lamps, and indulging in looted edibles. Drawing inspiration from the culture and folklore of the Muscogee Nation, this half-hour comedy balances the realities of living in a small town and the magical experiences our characters have. The introduction of these supernatural elements like spirit guides and the vengeful deer lady add a rich layer of magical realism to the story. The spirit world. Cold. My nipples are always hard. I'm always hungry. Got it. A year following the passing of their dear friend Daniel, the Reservation Dogs, a tight-knit gang of teenage thieves who share a love for catfish, are determined to break free from their burdensome lives in Oakern, Oklahoma, and escape to sunny California. Now, in order to finance their grand escape, they hatch a plan to steal a truck loaded with flaming flamers chips, a seemingly perfect opportunity for quick cash. Now, the heist unfolds with resounding success, and they find themselves two months away from embarking on their journey to the coveted Golden State. Y'all wouldn't have seen a stolen food truck, would you? Huh? Crazy. But the Res Dogs' progress comes to an abrupt halt when they find themselves on the receiving end of a drive-by shooting, albeit with paintball guns. The unexpected assault is orchestrated by a rival gang vying for dominance. Following the incident, they decide to jump Bear, rendering him unconscious. During his unconscious state, Bear has a peculiar encounter with an enigmatic spirit guide, William Spirit Knifeman. Back in my day, I would have went at him like that, you know? Throw a spear in that little kid's head. Spirit, a warrior who met an untimely demise under his own horse, questions Bear about his actions for the sake of his people. This introspective exchange prompts Bear to rally the other res dogs. His newfound purpose? Safeguard their territory from the encroachment of the town's new gang of miscreants. Stop you all right here right now. Hey, 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 quit now. Shit, I'll run you all in. Bear soon discovers that his estranged father, a rapper living in LA, is set to perform in their hometown. Now, to make his homecoming special, Bear uses the group's California travel fund to pay for a new tracksuit, a Godzilla movie, and a beadwork medallion that looks like, uh, well, that's a... A microphone. Yeah, yeah, I see that, but like, what's the circles? You blind? It's a cord all wrapped up like. Oh. While he's on his spending spree, Alora bumps into Jackie, the leader of the opposing gang. She invites Alora to join her, but she refuses. After confronting Bear about his selfish use of their California funds, Alora begins to reconsider her friendship with Jackie. But as Alora continues to prep for their big trip, Willie Jack announces her decision to stay and spend more time with her parents, inspiring Cheese to follow suit. I'm not going to California either. Laura feels betrayed and secretly meets with Jackie about moving to California. Bear confronts Laura about Jackie, but she quickly lashes back, saying that he's never been serious about going to California. Season one ends with Laura choosing Jackie for their trip and leaving Bear behind. Alora's departure leaves the Res Dogs broken. Lost and lonely, Bear decides to get a real job. Excited after his first day at work, Bear's mood changes when he sees Alora outside his window. He confronts her for leaving him behind, but she interrupts and explains that her grandmother Mabel is on her deathbed. Bear sets aside his pride and supports Alora during her difficult time. After her grandmother's passing, Alora rushes out of the house and breaks down, finally releasing the pent-up pain she's carried since Daniel's death. In a surprising moment of healing, she sees the ghost of Grandma Mabel allowing the two women to share a heartfelt goodbye. I'm a spirit. <laughs> Crazy, isn't it? To conclude the Res Dogs' senior year, their teacher hands each of them a letter they wrote to their future selves when they were freshmen. And with Daniel unable to collect his own letter, 
their teacher privately passes it to Willie Jack. She gathers up the fragmented res dogs and together they read Daniel's letter. Determined to honor Daniel's memory, they decide to embark on their long-awaited journey to California together. Upon their arrival in Los Angeles, their car containing all their money and Daniel's letter is stolen. With no other options, they follow the guidance of a robed man referred to as White Jesus who promises to lead them to the beach. <laughs> Let us go then! Once there, Cheese leads them in a prayer as they process the pain of Daniel's loss. The reservation dogs jump into the ocean and huddle in knee-deep water. Daniel becomes part of their embrace, if only for a moment. Enough time for them each to tell him, Alora hatches a plan to find their car, but Bear declares that he's not going back, leaving the rest of the Res Dogs unsure of what's next. Now, what do you think will happen in season three? And do you love Catfish as much as they do? Let us know in the comments down below. Make sure to check out the third and final season of FX's Reservation Dogs, streaming August 2nd, only on Hulu. And if you can't wait till August 2nd, then here's a sneak peek of what the Reservation Dogs are up to next in this brand new trailer. Hey, did you know that an Indian invented potato chips? Can you please just go? This Gunagahaga guy invented them. Yeah, he was half black, half native. Oi, don't start talking to yourself. It's true. Can you believe this guy? The red dogs have returned. Uh, uh, uh. You're so grounded. Where's Bear? I'm old enough to feel old. The path to healing is often found in opportunities to help others. What does that mean? You're on trash duty. Well, maybe next time you'll think twice about running away and not telling anybody. Why am I here? I didn't even go to California. It's called probably cause. Ah! Knowledge bomb. Oh, oh God. Is Glad to be home? I don't think I can leave this place. Kind of gets a hold of you, huh? Oh. Did I get my records? Records? I'm thinking about going to school. Can you just tell me what to do? You know I can't do that. Besides, you made it! Made it where? Right where you're supposed to be. I'm gonna die. We're kindred spirits, I think. We see things other people can. Oh, some people are either afraid of it or they're jealous. Girl. <laughs> what the? Cookie? I'm a spirit. I'm your guy. Who's gonna doctor people up? I don't know. No one to pass it on to. I'm interested. Because it's love Are you a good man, Bear? I try to be. I know the noise you have inside your head. I know it's loud. Being good or bad is a choice. It's that simple. This time between us, in and over. <laughs> well, I ain't headed this way. Metaphorically. Oh!